This add-on literally adds native speaker audio for every Japanese word in one click. Automatically generate the furry gana and pitch accents of every word that you currently have. Completely upgrade your Anki and make it a hundred times more modern. That's what we'll be talking about in this video, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. The more time we spend in Anki, the less time we spend in immersion. So to optimize the time you spend in Anki, let's start with add-on number one. The Japanese support add-on gives you the ability to automatically create furry gana for all the kanji you put in. In order to install and set up this plugin in Anki, press Control shift a to open up the add-ons menu, click on install new add-on and paste in the appropriate code. Once in, press OK and restart your Anki. The links to every single add-on in this video will be in the description and the installation steps will be the same unless otherwise specified. Once you have the Japanese support add-on installed, in order for the readings to automatically generate from the expression field, you need to have a field titled specifically expression and reading. Expression is where the sentence goes, reading is where the reading generates. If you do not have fields named like this, here's how you can rename your fields. Go up to Tool, Note Type Manager. Look for the specific note type you're working with, hit the Field button, and here you can hit Rename to change the name of each field. Go into your expression field and paste in your sentence, click off of the box and the reading should automatically generate in the reading section. Should you find a card that is displaying the furigana incorrectly in square brackets, go into your browser and search for the particular card in question. Once you find the card, hit the card button up here. On the top right here, choose one of these options that display where you want the furigana to be shown. Identify which field this is, and so in this case, it is the reading field. Find the double squiggly brackets and add before the field furigana colon. Once you do this, the furigana should be displaying properly. Now hit save on the bottom right. Next is the Japanese pitch accents add-on. And actually bundle in one more, the quick color changing add-on as well. The Japanese pitch accents add-on allows you to automatically create pitch accent graphs like these ones, and you can automatically generate them for every single card that you currently have as well. The quick color changing add-on allows you to color code the cards so that you can more easily identify the pitch accents. In order to create a new card with the pitch accent graph, type in your expression, click offset the furigana automatically generates, get rid of the kanji and the square brackets because we don't need them, take the reading and copy this with control C. On the top right here, click on this new icon called set pitch accent. In here, paste the reading, press OK, and next enter in the pitch accent as a sequence of L's and H's. L's meaning low and H meaning high. Nihongo, for example, is a heibon, so it's going to be low, high, 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 followed by one extra high for the particle to attach high. Then press OK and the pitch accent will automatically generate. I personally like to get rid of this space in between the word and the graph. So I'll click in between here, make sure the cursor is here, then hit backspace. Once that's done, I'm gonna color everything blue. The way I have things laid out, Alt plus one through four will give you four different colors. One for blue and that's Heibon, two for Atamadaka, that'll be red, three for Nakadaka, that'll be green, and four for Odaka, that'll be yellow. In order for you to have the exact same result, simply go into tools, add-ons, find the quick color changing add-on, hit settings, find this code in the description and paste it in exactly the way it is. To create the pitch accent graph for your existing cards, go up to tools, and under pitch accent, select bulk add. Once here, choose your deck and hit OK. Then it will show you an example card. Simply choose the card that shows the Japanese expression. Then select the field that contains the reading. Usually it'll be called reading. And for which field the pitch action should be shown in, again, choose reading and press OK. Once you do that, you'll receive a message telling you that it's been completed. Next, let's talk about the Migaku Japanese add-on. This add-on literally adds native speaker audio for every Japanese word in one click. Installing the add-on is a bit more complex than the other ones. Other than just pasting in this code, like we do with every other plugin, we also have to manually download the audio separately. Once you have the accent audio.zip downloaded, go to the add-ons menu in Anki, select Migaku Japanese and hit C files. In the new folder that just popped up, go into user files and extract the accent audio folder into here. This plugin is useful even if you have Yomi-chan installed because, and here's a pro tip, Yomi-chan readings are sometimes wrong. For example, here's the word haike. The expected result is haike. What we get is haike. Haike, 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 haike. Yomi-chan is clearly wrong. So in order to fix this, with the plugin installed, we can delete the original audio, highlight the expression, copy it with control C, then hit the speak button over here. This will automatically find the correct audio file for this word and even display the pitch accent. We don't need this stuff before the sound file in the square bracket, so we can simply delete all this stuff and we can preview it by hitting the card button. Haike. If sometimes the expression vanishes, simply paste it back in with control V. Number four is going to be the Anki Connect add-on. We have this plugin called Yomi-chan, 
Pokemon, which allows us to instantly look up the definitions of any Japanese words. However, if we want to remember these cards, it's best to have Anki Connect installed so that we can create a card out of the Yomi-chan information by clicking on this little plus icon over here. The full tutorial for Anki Connect and Yomi-chan will be up here. Finally, the fifth plugin will answer the question on many people's minds right now. How did I get my Anki to look like this? And the answer to that is the add-on Beautify Anki. I've already made a tutorial on this one, so go watch that video next.